Igor Akinfeyev, one of the icons of Russian soccer, one of the two captains on their side, Jonas Eriksson, 43 years old from Sweden, over 100 European matches in his career, including the Euro four of these 11 academy products, 10 of the 11 have been regulars with the club for at least six years. Yeah, Ken Feyev, experienced goalkeeper, 31 years of age in goal, to play with the back three, and you see Ignashevic on that left-hand side is 38 years old, Berezutsky in the middle, 35 years old, where this team does come alive. Is Zagoev, Golovin, very good players. Vitinho, a lot of place. Chala, 19 year old in place of not even in this. A bit deep and changing around the formation as well. But they still have a lot of good players. Very good goalkeeper in David De Gea. Doesn't happen often, but Jose Mourinho is going to go to three in the back. Bailly in the middle with Smalling and Lindelof alongside of him. Young, better position for him, that wing back, than just a right back. Very good attacking player. Mkhitaryan, terrific passer of the ball. And there's that pace, Martial and Lukaku. Lukaku will be an absolute handful for the back three of CSKA. Brutal as it will get very soon by the time match day three, in fact, comes around. Underway! Since joining from Everton, handing off for Martial. Able to find the space now. The cross and the opening goal! Nine goals in nine games for Romelu Lukaku. What an incredible start to life as a Manchester United player. And what a dream start to the night for Manchester United as a team. Well, whether it's going to be Ignashevich or Berezutsky or Vassin, all three are going to have difficulty defending against that man. He made his transfer in fine mood. He's now in fine form. He just pulls off his defender, gets his right arm along the back of him, doesn't allow the defender to jump. You see the defender try to look at the official as if it was a foul. Shin Soccer looking to escape, playing into the space. Zagoev trying to get him behind. Young the recovery speed to Haya the clearance. Swing and a miss, but an opportunity and a good save by De Gea from Zagoev. It was Goldavine. Night. Mkhitaryan all the way across. Dali Blind has come forward. The return from Mkhitaryan. Forcing a great save out of Akinfeyev. Get this last save. You see Lukaku, how far forward he is. It was He made a little run, and they all dropped off, and it released that space at the top of the box. That's a good run, late run. Marcial off the short corner, driving in. Closest to it there was Smalling. The weave his way through. Mkhitaryan, Marcial to his left, taking it himself. And that took a deflection on the way through. Here's Jagoev for Vitinho. Vitinho shot pinged around, last off of him, Lindelof. Young was trying to find the angle and does for Mkhitaryan, is able to turn. Going to ground there, dangerous, it looks like the additional assistant referee was pointing to a penalty. And it is a penalty for Manchester United. Mkhitaryan drawing the contact, you saw the additional assistant referee immediately pointing for it. And chance for Manchester United to go 2-0 up inside of 20 minutes now. Yorga Shinnikov, the guilty party. As Marciano steps up against Akinfeyev. Sends him the wrong way. And I'm not sure that Jose Mourinho could have drawn up anything better for the opening 18 minutes than to already be two goals to the good. With about a thousand traveling supporters enjoying it up in the opposite corner of the stadium. That could have been a very tricky tie. Big save by David De Gea a few minutes ago. Now Man United with a penalty up 2-0. Calmly taken by that. Levine once again. Finding space, letting fly. De Gea, that full stretch there. Skip past his left post. A decent effort by Golovin, but there's a lot of Manchester United players around him. Difficult to score on De Gea. Marcia will engage with Mario Fernandez. Got the cross away! That's about as easy a goal as Lukaku's gonna score. Berezutsky missed it. It is an absolute disaster for CSK Moscow. And it's turning into an awfully fun night for Manchester United. There's really not a lot you can say about this. This is just an absolute lapse of concentration in the back from Berezutsky. It is a simple clearance. Probably could have even controlled it. Don't think Lukaku would have applied any pressure if he had done. He's the only player at that near post. Blinn runs away from him. Lukaku goes to the far post. He's definitely onside. 
Odic there to pick it up. Now his cross. That's like hard tonight. Lukaku on a hat trick. Wanting it from distance. Akinfeyev. Able to get enough of his arm to it. Second save for him. Oh. the turn. Opportunity for a great save from De Gea again by Fyodor Cholov. The teenager getting the start tonight after. Herrera then. You see the frustration for Alexander Golovin. Jumping Herrera to the turf. Let's see what Jonas Eriksson decides to do about this. It should really be a yellow card. You're down to a million, correct? Martial weaving his way through. Martial cut off a little bit. Lukaku now back through trap. And there's the first half whistle. And an answer to your question, CSK go into the break and continue to dig deep and make it a night that has not gone the way any of them hoped or thought or expected. Second half underway in Moscow. Golovin. Golovin got two United players to move, and then he fires it across the face of goal. Across from Marcial. Goal, two assists for him in the first half. Look at a set of Lukaku right at Akinfeyev. Almost got to the rebound in time. Blind as well. Just knocked off it at the last second. Third save for Akinfeyev. Oh, Young. Young lifting in the cross. Blind is attacking. It's over the bar. Katarian. It's great work to control a bouncing ball and find a team, and it's going to be pulled back as he was hit up in the face. Jonas Eriksson showing a yellow for the second time. A 4 0 defeat they had to Dynamo Moscow in September of 2011. Worst home defeat in all competitions since, and now Bettina has shown a yellow. Three very good players. Another poor pass. Martial is in behind, looking for his second goal. I can fame. Instead, Mkhitaryan first on the scene. Four nil for Manchester United. Mkhitaryan, who's been Mr. Assist the beginning of this season, his second goal in all competitions. Well, Mkhitaryan may have heard the boys giving Jovan Karofsky a bit of a, a bit of grief because he enjoyed was making fun that his boy hadn't scored yet. Well, there's the goal. Yeah, Martial screaming yeah, forward, got denied his second goal. How about a third assist? No, Lingard seconds after coming onto the field with his first touch. Denied by Akinfeyev's fifth save of the night. We said if you're going to bring on Mott better than being a defensive right back, he was an attacking right wing, right wing back. Good to come on for CSK. First, it's Vitinho from Golovin. Vitinho found the space for a shot. Doesn't have to have too many days out or weeks out on the sidelines. He went out in the round of 32 of the Russian Cup to a second division team, but Darmian, great control, saved by Akinfeyev. Ball, he doesn't get the pass. There is the long run, good range of passing. Great touch by Darmian. Akinfeyev stays on his feet as long as he... ...from CSK, and then Kazan and Sochi. How about a chance for one late goal? There it is, Dava De Gea, beaten through the wickets. Konstantin Kuchayev. The 19-year-old, his first professional goal to wipe away the shutout for Manchester United and give the CSK fans something finally to smile about tonight. Yes, and you can hear the fans' approval of the goal. Their players have not given up. They've been well and truly beaten. Kujaya preventing the shutout late. So not a perfect night, but not too far away from it. Hand you back now to Ian Joy as it finishes Manchester United 4, CSK Moscow 1. Champions League bonus coverage coming your way right now. Sporting Lisbon.